okay so welcome back to this channel so in our previous video we have handled uh, the order part we are displaying all the orders and also the order details and now in this video we have to first of all uh, if i go here in the admin panel and go in the all orders and here i have to first of all update the order status of the user okay and also i have to handle this delete button so let's first of all go back to our backend i uh, go in the backend in the controllers in the order controllers so i will simply copy this from here okay and i will paste that right here so that is going to be update order okay so first of all i, I will get the order I, uh, details and also i will remove this from here if the order is not there we will simply throw this error and after that we have to update the order so order is going to be uh, await order dot find by id and update we will pass here request dot query dot id and in the body we have to pass in here the order status so order status is going to be request dot body dot order status that we want to update okay and let's change it to let and after updating the order we simply have to return from here the order let's also display here uh, send here success to true okay so this is for the update and to delete that i will simply copy this from here and i will paste that here and that is going to be uh, delete order so i will simply search for the order if order is not there i will simply throw the error and after that i will simply have to call in here await order dot delete one okay so it will delete that order and then we have to send here 200 and send here success so true simply save it close this from here now let's, let's go to our pages um here i go to the admin in the orders go to this file and this is the put route this is the delete route and that is going to be update order and that is going to be delete order okay save it from here and our backend part is ready now we just have to handle that on the front end now let's first of all go to the context and create a new context here that is the um, order context.js in here first of all i will simply copy and paste that here and let me first of all change here this product to the order okay and then i scroll down and i change this product to order context and this to order context as well okay so first of all i need here the error i need here um this uh, updated okay and after that i will simply remove this from here okay and then i don't need here this um okay save it from here and now for the update order i simply have to pass in here the id of the uh, order and then the order data okay and then here i will simply use here axios.put slash api slash admin slash orders slash the id of the order and the body we will pass in here the orders data okay and if data dot success then i will simply set updated to true then move the user to slash admin slash orders and slash the id of that order okay so this is for the update order and for the delete order um that is going to be slash api slash admin slash orders slash the id and that is the delete we have to pass in here only the id and if that are success i will move the user to slash orders save it and now we have to pass in here uh, update order and delete order okay save it and now let's first of all close this from here go to the app in the global provider we have to add in here um, i will add in here the order uh, provider and I will put that after this product. 
save it from here and now let's close this one and now let's go to our components in the admin here we have the update order so first of all I get here the update order then error then clear errors then updated and set updated that is going to be use context and I pass in here the order context okay and then I have to get a state variable for the order status so that is going to be order uh, status that is going to be set order status and that is going to be use state and I pass in here by default that is going to be order dot order status okay this order dot order status so this is our state variable and now let's create our use effect okay so in that first of all I check that if updated then I will simply set updated to false and I will toast dot uh, success here uh, order updated and if there is any error then I will simply toast dot error the error message and then I will clear the errors and that is uh, updated okay save it and the dependency array we have to pass in here the error and updated updated okay save it and now we have to get our submit handler so submit handler and first of all I will set the order data in that I will have to set the order status okay now we have to pass this order data in the update order to our backend so that is going to be update order and i pass in here the order dot underscore id okay and then i will simply pass in here order data okay so this is our submit handler and now i scroll down okay so this is our first of all this is our field i have to set here first of all the value so the value is going to be order status and then we have to set here on change that is going to be okay so this is our on change and then um, I have to simply type here on click when we click on this button we have to simply call the submit handler that will pass the data um, submit handler and we will simply send the data to the backend and that will update the order status okay so now let's test it out if I simply save it go back and if I click here okay so we have to use the use client I think so yes I'll copy that and I will put that here and save it and now this loading is not defined I will go to the um, context order context and I will remove this loading from here save it okay so now we have this uh, detail here now if I click on shift and click on update so order updated if I reload this page you can see that it is also changed to shift if I reload it the order status is updated if I type here delivered update so now that data is also updated here if I go to all, all orders you can see that here the status is delivered so this means that our order status is successfully updating okay and now we have to handle this part which is this delete one okay so for that I go back and I go to the uh, components in the admin in the orders so first of all I will simply type here on click and that is going to be we have to call here our delete handler okay in that I will simply have to pass here the order ID so that is going to be order dot underscore ID now we have to create this delete handler I go to the top and I create that here so const delete handler we will have our ID so what I will do here is I will simply actually I can uh, copy this from here okay so I have to import the use context then the order context then I will import here the delete 
order error and then the clear error okay now in the delete order I will call that and pass in here the ID save it and then I have to also copy this use effect from here and I put that here and uh, if there is an error we will simply display that so I will also import here the uh, use effect simply save it and now if I go back um, we also have to make this component client side component so I will paste that here save it okay so if I click here and if I delete this 160 uh, order so if I click on delete that order is gone now we don't have that order here okay um, if I delete this one that is gone now if I reload this page I have here only two orders okay so I hope that you understand uh, we have successfully updated the order and also we have successfully deleted the order so if you have any question you can post that in the comment section I will try my best to respond there and also you can get the source code of this video from the description of this video so in the next video we will start working on the users so I will see you in the next lecture